welcome back to the channel so the day has finally come the Camaro has finally reached its braking miles so it's finally at 1500 miles I've been waiting for so long for this day to come it's been I think like a long two months but we'll finally get to take the car out today and take it past 4,000 rpms because all this time I've been taking it just 4,000 rpms I really haven't been enjoying the car but it's finally here I can almost jump of joy <laughs> So we'll be taking it out just to see, get my reaction and just see how it feels. I'm very excited and curious to see how it will be. But first, a very, very important thing we need to do is oil change because it's due for another oil change at 1500 miles. So we'll go ahead and take care of that and then finally go out in the street and see what it can do. So let's go ahead and get the car prepped and let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my oil. Can any of you guys guess what oil it is? That's right, it's AMS oil. Many of you have seen me use it on my GT350. And for those of you wondering why I use AMS oil, it's pretty much just because, at least with my experience and the research that I've done, AMS oil is the best. The GT350 has been tracked multiple times. It's been raced, it pretty much lives on high revs, and I've had zero burned oil. The GTR has been tracked several times too. It's been raced and it's never had any issues with burning oil. So now the Camaro will be tracked as well. So that's exactly why I decided to go with AMS oil. And funny thing is that this uses 040, which is the same thing that GTR uses, but just less quartz. I think the GTR uses six quartz and this uses 10 quartz. So that's a huge difference. And I know that last time I did use 5W30 just because it pretty much was still under the braking period. I wasn't going to be uh, driving it hard and I was going to have to dump the oil a thousand miles later, which is today. So I really didn't want to spend the extra money with AMS oil, but since it's finally reached 1500 miles and I will be tracking it pretty soon, that's exactly where I'm using AMS oil today. Let's go ahead and get this oil change underway because I really just want to take it out and finally experience the car. So let me put on some gloves, get the oil drain lift under the car and get this underway. But enough talking, let's get working. What a fail. I guess I miscalculated this and then the oil just ended up spilling out. It ended up going all over my right glove and a little bit towards my arm and also some on the floor. <laughs> and then a little bit here on my shirt. <laughs> I remember last time I did the oil change, I was wearing a white shirt and you guys were like, wow, props to you because you didn't get any oil on your shirt, but <laughs> not today, obviously. It happens to the best of us, so, but the show must go on. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil drain plug back on and clean this up and then remove the oil filter. <laughs>
Okay, so the oil change is now all done. I actually didn't go ahead and turn on the car just because I know it takes 10 quarts from last time I did it. But now let's get the ramps on. Let me go ahead and change my shirt, get on the road, start the fun, and let's see what this car is all about. so much fun the amount of power that this car has and the torque is unbelievable because i'm just used to the gt350 and they're just completely completely different so at first i redlined just because i'm just so used to the high revving engine of the gt350 that i'm like whoa 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 <laughs> the power and the torque here okay i need to tone it down a little bit and shift a little bit faster so then i did it again and i think i short shifted i'm like okay well let me I need to practice. <laughs> but then for the most part, I try to stay at 6,000 RPMs to shift, but I really do need to practice because like I said, it's just completely different to the Shelby, but I absolutely loved this car. <laughs> it's so fast. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that this day came. I've been waiting for this for such a long time, <laughs> but I'm glad that everything is finally done with and we can finally take this car to its true potential and take it to the max and speaking of which i might be taking it to the track i'm really crossing my fingers and being really hopeful because there is a track event uh next weekend but that's the track that's closest to me and it does have a sound restriction and you guys know well some of you may know that with the g350 it didn't pass the sound test and i know this car is not as loud but it's really strict there i just don't want to risk anything of this car not passing because i really really want to take it out there now that i took it all the way i really want to experience it at the track in its natural habitat and see how it feels so i can finally talk to you about the difference between the two i'm just so used to driving this at the track i mean even though i'm not a pro or anything because i'm still learning and it's just so many different tracks it's always a challenge but i love it but i want i really want to track this one <laughs> and see so i'm working with the shop i'm currently working with the shop to see if we can fabricate something just to quiet it down even more so i'm really hopeful that that is going to turn out well so hopefully this weekend i'm there and it take it out there for the first time that's a really fast track so this car should really shine out there i'm so excited and really really hoping that it goes well but i had a blast taking this car finally passing its braking period so now the fun is going to start so many exciting and super fun videos with this car so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one